Hey there, I'm Gus Hansen. We're at the Galway Poker Festival. Alongside me is the beautiful Miss Rebecca. And we're gonna try and dig into a little open face Chinese. Open face Chinese has pretty much swept the nation. Maybe I should say the whole world. I mean, I have playing, been playing high stakes, um, open face games in Macau. Monaco, Las Vegas, the Russians like it, the Chinese love it, a lot of Americans, Europeans play it. So uh, let's uh, let's see what this open face Chinese is all about. What do you say? We'll give it a go. All right. So basically, I'm shuffling, I'm dealing, I'm trying to do everything at once. And let's start with five cards each and see where we go. Okay. I feel like I'm jumping in the deep end with you here, Gus. Uh, a little bit, but I'm a nice guy, so uh, I'm sure we can figure out something. Okay, see, in open face, people are used to like taking up their five cards, but in open face, when it's your turn, the reason for it being called open face is that everything is open. So you can basically, when it's your turn, you just show your cards, because then people can follow and maybe make the decision on what they're going to do on their hand. Okay. So, Basically, this is also a game where you want to kind of take what's given to you. So here you have a 10, an 8, a 6, and two fives. Hey, that's a pair. Pair, that's not too bad. That's a, that's a start somewhere. Remember, you only start with five cards. You might end up with 13, but you only start with five. So take what's given to you, a pair. You don't have really have any flush draws, not too good of a straight draw. So you basically play a pair of fives. Okay. Then, since it consists of five cards, five cards, and three cards, and your strongest hand has to be in the back, you want to put kind of a card with that so maybe you can make a full house. That's kind of what you're hoping for. Obviously, you can make quad fives, but let's not dream too much. <laughs> so, you basically put, put usually the highest card with it, okay. uh, unless it's an ace or king, because they, ace, king, or queen have special value in this game. So, play that. With, the, with your two fives and then play um, the other two cards in the middle. Basically, in this game, you kind of want to build your foundation from the bottom up. So you want to put the strength in the back and hopefully you have something strong at the end of the hand. And then your weak card, you're going to put in the middle on the front and kind of uh, take it from there. Okay. So, so that would be my preferred way of setting. I'm not, uh, I don't know everything in this game. Uh, I've played a lot uh, the last couple of months, uh, so that would be my guess. Okay. Here, I have a little bit of nothing. But, as I said, the king and the queen and the aces kind of have special value in this game. Uh, there are certain rules where you get extra bonus for having a pair of queens on top. Remind you that the top hand has to be beaten by the middle hand, who has to be beaten by the back hand. So I would put a queen on top, it's beaten by the king in the middle, king gets a deuce, which is not a very interesting card, and then I'm trying to build a little bit of something in the back with an 8 and a 7. If I hit an 8 or a 7, I'm gonna put it right next to him. If maybe I get a straight card, I'm gonna put it next to him. So basically that's our setup, and then we get one card at a time. Okay, so it's always good to put the queen instead of the king up the top. Yeah, basically, like I said, the, the top has to be beaten by the middle. Mm -hmm. So you have your strongest in the back, second strongest in the middle, and weakest on top. So okay. basically, if you did it the other way around, well, now you have the king is stronger than the queen and the yeah. deuce. So remember, this is poker hands. So, so basically, a lot of times you will end up in situations where you just have like king high on top, or in this yeah. case, queen high on top maybe ace high in the middle and maybe a straight or two pair in the back or something. So okay. let's see what you're getting. See if it's anything that's useful. You have an ace. An ace. So an ace in itself is actually not that bad a card. And actually looking at my hand, I don't have too much. I would simply put the ace in the middle. You have me beat with your two fives. Mm -hmm. You have me beat with ace five, you, uh, with ace versus king high. You don't have anything in the top, but obviously uh, throughout the hand you will. I did get something that looked okay. Now I have 9, 8, 7. I might be able to get lucky and make a straight at the okay. end. Oh, that's a good card. Yeah. That's, that really hurts me. Now you have 10s up and you kind of block my straight option, so like I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna take the safe route because you're blocking a lot of my cards, so I'm just gonna try and make a pair. Maybe I can get lucky and hit a 7 okay. and, and beat you there. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -oh. A full house already now. See, now for sure you've already locked up the back. So you're winning the back for sure. So now I have to try and make something middle or front to beat you. This is a game where uh, you compete the front versus the front, the middle versus the middle, and the back versus the back. And basically the rules of the game is that if you win two of them and lose one, you win one point. But if you win all three of them, you win six points. So there's a big bonus for winning all three hands. And right now she can't be beaten in the back. So she's kind of looking to exploit my weakness on top and middle and beat me both places because you've already locked this one down. So basically what all women try to do with you. Yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> King. Oh my God. See, <laughs> see now you basically have me in a, in a headlock. Yeah, I have queen, you have king, I have king, you have ace, and you have a full house that's, un for me, unbeatable with the hands I have. So, I need to produce. This is a seven, this is a great card. I make three sevens, which was my dream come true. Unfortunately, you made a full house in between, so I'm still losing the back, and... Five, it's completely dead five. You can't use yeah. it for anything because you have all the fives, so... Uh, it's a waste card. I would probably put it on top. Okay. You're still leading on top. And for me to put a higher card, like if I hit a king, I can't put it there because then it it beats my uh, metal. So okay. right now a nine. Uh, what am I trying to do? I think I'm I'm trying to hit a pair in the middle simply okay. because you have ace high and with a pair I might be able to win the middle. A jack, um, I would basically just put it in the middle. I'm basically trying to make a pair, and, but you have bigger cards than me, so if I make a pair, maybe you can make a bigger pair. Okay. A three, I'm playing it up there, and I really don't like my chances in this hand. Four. See, now we're down to the end of, the, of this hand, and basically, if turns out that you don't follow the rules of the game and have the strongest in the in the back, the second strongest in the middle, and the weakest up front, then you forfeit your hand. So basically, if you make, which would be a huge blunder, put it there, then you can be unlucky to hit a king or an ace on the last card and basically foul your hand and you don't reap the benefits for having a full house. So this is a gimme play that everyone who plays open face Chinese after they played like a couple of hands, they would know, okay, I have to play safe, put it on top. Um, I'm only gonna have king high, but fortunately my opponent can't beat the king high. So, and I'm in a little bit of a different spot uh, because I have to risk something because you're beating me all over. But again, if I play it in the middle, you already win the middle. Uh, if I play it on top, you already win the top. So I have to find somewhere to get lucky and that spot will be the middle. Uh, so basically, you're just rooting for me to make nothing. You hit a bad card, and, and there again we see this is open face Chinese a lot of times. Like I started, uh, say, let's put it in the, so everybody can see. You end up with king high and then ace high. But if you look at my hand, it looks like I'm ending up with queen high, king high. So mm -hmm. king high, ace high is actually good. And then you have a really nice hand of the full house in the back. I could not come up with something good, so basically what's happened, I lose with queen high to king high, king high to ace high, and my three sevens lose to a full house, so... I scooped you. You scooped me. So basically, like I said, a two to one win is one point, a scoop is six points, so you win six points, and with a bonus system, six points for a full house, I lose 12 points. So that means I have to do the cleaning, do the dishes, and, <laughs> and that's it's a really sad story. Let's play another hand before this. Uh, the, let's, uh, let's take one more hand and see if I can... Uh, and also in the game of Chinese, position is, is powerful. Okay. Just like in, in regular poker. Uh, in regular poker, your opponent has to act first. So obviously it's, it's why people like to raise and hold them and hold them tournaments on the button. You only have to go through the blinds, and if they decide to play with you, you're in position the rest of the hand. So uh, it's very powerful, obviously, in poker and in open face Chinese. It's also important because the first hand, I got to see what you did on your first 
five cards, I could see which cards were live, what I wanted to do to compete with your hand. I, I wasn't very successful at it, to be honest. But So this hand, you're going to have the advantage. So you're dealing to me. So now one card at a time, five cards each. Yeah. It's always nice with a beautiful dealer. And uh, let's see here. Okay, I have a little bit of something. I have a pair of sevens. Again, take what you're given. I mean, that's. I have no three flush, four flush, three so straight. So I'm playing two sevens with a nine. And then I'm playing the ace that we saw by itself can win the middle. And uh, you're probably not too proud of that, those five cards. Not really. No. So that's a, see, that's the same probably as in poker. Everybody knows that if you have two aces before the flop, if you raise, you're not really doing anything wrong. Um, but the weaker your hand, the tougher it becomes to play. Uh, everybody knows I can raise with the ace king, but the seven five suited. Should I play it? Risk getting raised? Should I not do it? And you have a lot worse than seven five suited. So uh, here, I really don't know what to do. But again, I have two sevens in the back. So you might want to play some cards that if you hit something, you beat, you. you beat me. So obviously, and like you saw last time, I played an eight and seven because yeah. at least they're connected, okay. maybe make a straight. Okay. So a 10 and a nine makes sense. Uh, and, uh, and then this is actually a hand where normally you would play the king in the middle, but I already have, have an, an ace, eight. so that's not so good. So actually the way to play this would be the 10, nine, trying to beat something, uh, beat my two sevens. Now you play two smaller cards there to make a pair to beat my ace. And now you actually play a little risky and put the king up front okay. because the king loses its value because I have the ace already. So now you're gonna play, it's a little risky. You might end up fouling your hand, but I think this could be the right play. Okay. A little bit on the aggressive side, but uh, I think you can handle it. Yeah, I think so too. All right, let's see. There's a king, so I match you. Oh. I'm gonna put it up there. I'm already covered by the ace, so. Are we gonna put this here? For sure, it's higher than a seven and fits perfectly with your plan of making, make it, maybe making a straight, so that's for sure the right play. Eight, where am I gonna put that? I'm still trying, uh, as we saw you made last time, I'm still trying to make a full house, so I'm not gonna ruin it by just putting an eight. So I'm gonna put that in the middle. Let's see what you're doing. Mm. You're not gonna put it in the no. back, no, for sure. And basically, it, it actually fits well with your hand. You wanna obviously try and make it straight, but at least make a, a, a medium big pair there. And then to beat the king, you kind of want to make a small pair here. So it actually, it fits well with your hand just to put it in the middle. Okay. Now you can hope, I mean, in some, sometimes you end up with a pair of tens, then a pair of threes and king high, but it could be good enough to beat some of my hands, so. Okay. A six. Again, the six, I put it there. If I make a pair of sixes, it's still lower than my sevens and it might be higher than your pair, so it works out well. There we go. Uh, there we go, you made the threes. So now you're beating my ace high and you have a good chance of beating my sevens if you make a pair there. So that was a good card for your hand. Ace, that's an interesting card. Now, I cannot really play it there because now I have ace king versus ace eight. Okay. So, but then you can say if I play it here, it beats my sevens. But there's special bonus for making big pairs on top. So I'm gonna risk it and hope I catch a nine or a seven on my last four cards. Okay. So we should go with it down here. Yeah. yeah now you basically set. You did what I said was very likely. You made a pair in the middle, a small one, made a bigger pair, and now you still have your king high, so now your hand is shaping up to at least have something. And if I don't cover the aces, you're just gonna beat me again. I'm really, and a nine also took away one of my cards that I wanted to hit a nine. An eight, there's only one eight left in the deck, so 
I think I'm gonna put it up there. Five. Five. See, now you can play risky and go for two pair, but then you have to make two pair here. And I'm risk of maybe fouling my hand, so I would just, if I were you, I would just play safe. But I can't even put it up there because then you still beat me. Yeah, but basically you can also hope for that I don't cover the aces. I don't beat the aces down here and you just win by default. Okay. So I would I would take the safe route. Even no, the safe route <laughs> the safe route is up okay. there. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Now I made nice and seven. Now now you're in trouble. Oh dear. See if I had hit that card before, you would have for sure put the five in the middle. Mm. But you kinda said, well, I cannot he can only hit a seven or a nine, and I have two of the nines, but I got really lucky with that card. So now it's you who has to do something. Jack, that's not really uh, a great card. But as you said with the five, what does the Jack do on top? It does beat my eight. It does. So I mean that it's a safe play for you and and gives you a, the advantage up here. I have to hit something to beat your uh, I basically have to hit an ace, king, queen, or jack to, to beat you up there, and I might not. There's only two cards left. Okay. It's looking good for you, though. It's looking very good for me. So, now I can put it up here and just beat you, or I can put it in the bag and hope to catch a king. King will get me uh, into what we call fantasy land, and as you can hear in the sound of Fantasyland, it's a good place to be. So uh, I'm ruining my chances for Fantasyland if I put it up there. On the other hand, I beat you. So um, I don't know what to do. And I can also get a bonus here if I hit a seven or, there's no more nines, but if I hit a seven. So I'm just gonna try and, and beat you right back from the previous <laughs> hand. Jack? Again, you have to play safe. You have to go. Yeah. You have to go there because if you go in the bag and you hit two pair, you foul your hand. So uh, basically, you have to hope you hit a, a ten or an, an eight at the last card there. It wouldn't have mattered. I hit a queen. So basically, let's see if you can improve. Oh my! You hit an eight. <laughs> So I have nines and sevens, you have nines and eights. So basically I win the front with king queen versus king jack. Mm -hmm. I win the aces versus the threes. So I'm up 2-0. If I won the last one, it would be 3-0 and six points for me. But you made nines and eights versus my nines and sevens. So it's 2-1 for me. So I only win one point. You beat me for 12 and I win one back. That doesn't seem fair. Uh, at least you, I took something. Yeah. Do you want to go last hand? Yes. Let's All do right, it. last hand. Ideal. Slight advantage. Maybe I can use it. We'll see. Five cards each. And you're first. See if you can come up with something Ooh, good. Not too bad. No. So. The two nines for yeah. sure goes in the back. Yeah. And uh, now you can. You have a couple of options. The most normal would to be one card with the with a nine and okay. try to try to. There's no deuces gone, obviously, since you're the first player. And try to hit nines full of deuces or deuces full of nines, and then okay. uh, hit a six or a three for a smaller pair in the middle and see how the hand develops. Okay. Here I have uh, an interesting hand. I have three spades, but you already have a couple of spades. I have four to a straight. But I need an ace or a nine, you already have two nines. But there's still four aces and two nines, so I think I'm gonna go with that. Try and play the straight, and just put the deuce there. So, let's see, four. So, I should put this down the bottom? No, you, 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 don't want, you still wanna try and make a full house. Okay. So you would put that in the middle. In the middle, okay. Uh, so I want like just little small pairs here. Yeah, a okay. lot of times a, a pair in the middle is a pretty good hand. See, I have a king that I can pair it's the king's fix. but but then I lose my chance of making a straight and obviously a straight is much better. So I'm okay. just gonna put it in the middle. You move. Oh, interesting. Yeah, pair of fours. 
I'm gonna make the pair of deuces even though you have me beat. It's still a pair. So, the best thing would be to go up top? Yes, correct. You want to put some cards on top because sometimes if you fill out the middle and the bottom, you might hit like ace ace on top and you can't beat ace ace so you would foul and that's not a good thing. So, let's see a 10. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to try and make two pair in the middle to beat you. Nothing. Yet, <laughs> but I'm, I'm hoping that uh, will be a different story when we finish the end. So should I, I shouldn't close off this part? No, don't close off this part. There's no sevens gone, so some people would play it in the back. I'm not quite sure about this and some people would put it up front. I, I really don't know. I think okay. it's uh, what you feel like. If you f feel like you're still gonna hit a couple of nines, you should put it on top. But if you hit, feel like you hit a seven right away, you should put it in the bottom. It's, uh, I, I don't know this okay. player. I mean, uh, I could go either way. I'm gonna go here. All right, fair enough. That's a great card. Ace, oh, ace high. I was just about to put ace high, which obviously would have been a blunder, mm -hmm. because I want to make my straight back here. Mm -hmm. it's not so good. it was a good card for me. There's a nine. Here we go. So. It doesn't really matter though. No, now you're sad you put the seven there because... Yeah. But, <laughs> oh, look at this. Now I have two pairs in the middle. Now I'm beating you in the back and the middle. That's what I was looking for. Oh, really. interesting. Yeah, I'm still winning, but obviously you're beating me here. I completely dead ten. You have a jack, a jack would be good. Queen. If you hit another queen, you would also get to fantasy land. I have jack high, you have queen high. I think you're gonna beat me on top again. No. Deuce, that was not a good card. Oh, well you <laughs> see there. Queen jack 10 versus queen jack deuce. So I win the front. Tens and deuces versus fours and threes. I win the middle. And the straight versus three of a kind. I win the back. So basically all three, that's six points for me. A straight is a two point bonus. Eight points for me. But I had to catch 11. I lose back three. Good game. Good game. Thank you. Over and out. <laughs>